hello everybody. Uh, at this point, it's just YouTube. We're making carrot cake. Um, we're gonna use pecans and grated carrot and all kinds of fun stuff. So I hope you enjoy. Um, yeah, it's gonna be fun. Okay, I'm gonna put this down so I don't ruin the counter. Hello, 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 everybody. We're gonna make carrot cake today. Because that's what I wanna make. And I said I would make it, so. Yes. Hello, cold heart. And Arico, hi. Hello, Connor. Hello, OMG Hijack. Hello, how's it going? You're so talented. Thank you, John. Uh, my afternoon is going really well. Comfort live, for real. Honestly. You're sad because you finished Two Broke Girls. Aw, that's such a good show. That's so funny. <sighs> I know it sucks when you finish a really good show that you like. How's my day going so far? It's going well. Hello, I was in your last live. Welcome back. Today we're gonna make carrot cake. So, we're gonna see how it goes. It's very bright outside. Uh, you're using a recipe. Yes, my own recipe. My own concoction of things to create really nice carrot cake. Thank you for the hard hands. That's so kind. Thank you, Will. Just woke up. It's 8 a.m. here in the Philippines. It is 6.20 in the afternoon in Canada. So, that's cool. Okay, we're gonna start. I'm just gonna crack some eggs. Um, here. Thank you, Vic, for the uh, cowboy hat. I appreciate it. Okay, so we're gonna break a few eggs. We're gonna mix stuff up. We're gonna get it all beautiful and ready to go. I should heat the butter again. How is life, guys? How are you doing? Miami. Hello, Captain Jim. Can you do frosting for the cake? It's the only thing we aren't gonna show today is the sep the cream cheese frosting um, because I don't have cream cheese and um, you usually have to chill it overnight. So we'll be baking the whole cake and then perhaps we'll do the frosting another day, maybe tomorrow. I'm kind of busy tomorrow, so probably not tomorrow, but. Is that music a little loud? I feel like it's a little loud. Um, you're doing well, I'm glad to hear that. How are you, handsome? I'm doing really well. Hey, cowboy, hello. Life is good, I went to the gym this morning. I always go to the gym. Um, you guys can just assume that I go to the gym every morning <laughs> at this point. And yeah, life is good. Just been chilling, doing lots of work. Loving life, really. Okay, so three, four eggs. If you're in a zombie apocalypse, what would I do? Probably just unalive. Um, honestly, I don't wanna deal with zombies. Okay, so that is a teaspoon of vanilla. It's vanilla extract, it's artificial, which I don't like, but it's the one I have, so whatever. Uh, where are your dogs? I just put Lily outside. Julia has been outside all day. They've just had their breakfast or their dinner. They have their dinner at six o'clock every single day. So they've just had that. So they're loving life. But yeah, in a zombie apocalypse, um, I probably wouldn't do very well. I know a lot of people are like, oh, I'd do so well. You know, life would be so good. I would do well. I would not do well. I like my home comforts. We are making carrot cake today. So I've just beaten up the eggs with a little bit of vanilla. And then we're going to take, okay, so you can use applesauce, but I like to use crushed pineapple 
to keep moisture and everything. Why are you wearing a hat? Do you not trust the roof? Um, I'm wearing a hat because I like wearing a hat. So yeah, that's how that works. Okay, that's probably enough. So I'm using crushed pineapple and pineapple juice to help give the carrot cake some like really nice texture. Hello, Tyler, welcome. I'll crush your pineapple. <laughs> Love it. Uh, ah, yes, I remember that they have a 4 p.m. dinner routine. Yes, 6 p.m., sorry. Don't question the compression shirt or hat. Exactly, yes. I want it to look nice for you guys. Like, come on. Uh, I just want to look nice. I just want to look good for you. Okay, so now we're gonna take a cup and a half of brown sugar and a half a cup of granulated sugar and we're going to add this to the mix of wet ingredients. So I'm going to mix this up. This is also a cup of butter. Um, I know how you guys love to hear me say butter. I say it normally, I swear. It's just butter. That's how you say it. Oh, there's this. I really hate wasting any part of what I bake with. So, love the fit today. Thank you, I just got this shirt. I got this shirt today at a thrift store and it just came out of the washer, dryer, and so now I love it. I adore so good that much. Aw, thank you. Um, you guys are so sweet. Okay, so we're just mixing up the wet ingredients now. Gotta get them all nice and mixed together. And then we will add half or two cups of chopped pecan. I love pecans in the shirt wears itself. Thank you, I appreciate it. It really does. You literally aren't allowed to look this good. <laughs> Thank you, Eric, that's so kind. Thank you for the good evening. You guys are way too kind. You do not have to be giving gifts, but thank you. I very much appreciate it and I love you guys. My crush, aw. Don't give in, never give in. Hello, Linda, everything is doing well. You are the reasons I am myself. Aw, I love that. I love you. Thank you so much. I hope life, I hope life is beautiful for you. Always and forever and especially right now. So, we're just mixing this up. You can use coconut oil if you don't like butter, but I couldn't imagine doing this without butter because it's really good. You always exercise, I look pregnant. It's okay, I look pregnant sometimes too, don't worry about it. It's just about what you eat and bloating and like, don't worry about it. Life is good. Hope you got the first video I sent you. Um, I. I don't know, I saw the most recent stuff you posted, you sent me. I try and check my DMs pretty closely. Um, hello, Dark Dragon, welcome back. It's good to see you. I remember you because your username is really cool. Um, okay, so now this is two and a half cups of flour. It's two teaspoons of baking soda, one teaspoon of, oh no, two teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt. Um, so I'm just gonna like throw this in here. And then I'm going to whisk it because it needs whisking. Absolutely love your curls. Thank you so much. Anytime I hear always and forever, I think of the originals. Aw, always and forever. I like it. We are different types, if gays, but fall under the same flag. Please show me out. Thank you. The dement was, is that what it is? Nebraska native, you're such a cutie. Thank you very much. I'm new, what's your education level? Um, weird question, but I am a university graduate. I have a degree in anthropology and history. So yeah, no one's ever asked me that. That's interesting. Okay, so now we're gonna add the cinnamon. Lots of cinnamon, cinnamon's really good. I like it, loads of it. Nutmeg, not a huge fan of nutmeg. I don't love it, but we'll add a bit. Okay, ground ginger. Yes, love ginger. 
And finally, some ground clove to complete the spices. Some people like allspice, I don't, so we're not including it, but that's fine. Word, 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 word. Now we whisk this up a bit more. Okay. So the wet ingredients are all ready to go. I'm gonna add the pecans to the top. We're going to mix them up. Hope you guys can see this all right. Um, what do you think of the rumors that 1989 Taylor's version is the next re-record? I think it's very likely considering she only has that one in reputation and the debut. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if she put debut as last, you know? It was the first album she put out, so it'll be the last one she finally gets to own again. I wouldn't be surprised at that at all. Uh, I need my own baking show, right? I agree, Sam. Um, I'm doing really well today. Thank you for asking. You rock the hat. Thank you. That's crazy kind. I want to be treated better. Um, I hope you are treated better. My crush is having a sleepover on Friday night and he knows I like him. That's exciting. Miss Abby, hello, welcome. Yeah, fellow anthropology majors. I love that. I love me a history nerd. I'm a huge history nerd. That's for sure. Country boys are gorgeous. Thank you so much. Make a cooking playlist. Honestly, I just, I think it was today, there's a new video on my YouTube channel about how to make blueberry jam. So you can go watch that if you're interested. Not people's mistaking you for straight. I know. Do I watch Star Trek? I, I haven't watched a lot of it. My dad got me into the new generation when I was a kid, the next generation. Um, hey, my favorite cowboy. Well, hello there, Aaron. How is life? Good to see you. And Diana, oh my gosh, you both are here at the same time. He can, exactly. Uh, I could watch you cook all day. Thank you so much, love the shirt. I'm glad you like it. It was a great color on it. Thank you, that's very kind. Uh, it's a brand new shirt too. How many times have I baked? Uh, more than I can count. I bake like usually a few times a week. We're a bacon carrot cake. Um, okay, so now once you've got all of the dry ingredients mixed, all of the wet ingredients mixed, oh, nearly dropped it. These are the carrots. They're grated, a carrot cake, not banana bread. Um, then we're gonna add the dry, oh, or the wet. We add the wet ingredients into the dry, just like this, all messy, just like life. <laughs> Relatable. Um, and again, I hate wasting anything, so I try and get like literally every last drop in because I don't want to, I don't want to miss it. Okay. So we're going to get rid of the fork because we don't need it. And we're just going to start mixing it up. Yeah, so we're just mixing up now. Great outfit. Thank you, Connor. That's very kind of you. Ready for hoodie weather, sweater weather. Uh, by the way, how old are you? I am 26 years old, currently. Um, it's very exciting. I like being 26. I've enjoyed being 26 probably more than I've enjoyed any age so far, I think. Um, it's been very nice. But I still get <laughs> um, mistaken as like a 17 year old, especially when I shave. Which I'm okay with, you know? It's not the worst thing in the world. Okay, so now you just really wanna make sure that you're getting all the dry pockets, cause there's gonna be pockets in here that are gonna be dry and not mixed together. So you wanna make sure you get every little piece. It smells so good in here. Thoughts on Beyonce fans. I think Beyonce fans are really cool. Um, I don't actually have a lot of friends who love, love Beyonce um, like I do, but it's okay. Hello, Jimbo. Remember I was told you I was seeing someone while well, he broke up with me. Well, he's a loser. He shouldn't have broke up with you. That's done. What is this cake in a celebration? No, nope, no celebration. Just love and life. Hey, sweetie. Hi, Steven. Um, okay. 
I know I can smell it from here. Honestly, it's so good. Guys, carrot cake. So I'm just gonna make sure this is totally mixed up. The oven is preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, that's delicious. That is so good. Oh, I could just eat this totally raw all the time. Don't clip that, <laughs> please. Um, <laughs> Okay. Boom. That is mixed carrot cake dough. Carrots? Blah. Yes, carrots. Um, you're making it so you can eat it. Exactly. Hi, Christian. About the only way I like carrots is dipped in ranch. That is pretty good, honestly. Your eyes are amazing. Thank you, Ben. I'll make the coffee and be there in five. Sounds amazing. That's what she said. Yeah, literally. Eat it all raw. I know. Cake is good, but... We were making, I don't know what you said. Um, okay, so now we fold in the carrots. Most people are like, how do you fold in something? You just throw it in like that, and then you just, just fold it in. Just fold it in. Just fold in, I know, but how do you fold it in? <laughs> That's such a funny clip. If you guys know what I'm referring to, um, you're amazing. This looks so weird now. It has such a strange consistency, you know? I love carrot cake. My favorite call, favorite musical favorite call, favorite music artist is Taylor Swift, by far. Whoa. Um, my favorite cake to make is this carrot cake. My favorite cake to eat, probably carrot cake as well. Um, yeah, the recipe you'll be able to rewatch this on YouTube. Um, but yeah, I'll try and incorporate the recipe somehow. A cowboy is baking carrot cake now. Mm -hmm. Favorite Taylor album, 1989, for sure. You're so cute, thank you. Those carrots are perfectly shredded. Thank you, I did it myself before we started the live. Uh, fold in the cheese, lol. <laughs> I never really like carrot cake. I think it's really good. Uh, all your family like the carrot cake? They do, but none of them are here, so I'm gonna be the only one eating this. No sugar for me, that's fair. Um, yeah. What else do I like to make? Literally everything, jam, jellies, pickles. Um, I like making um, muffins, cookies, cakes. Um, I'd like to get into making my own pasta. I think that'd be really fun, enjoyable as heck. Um, yeah, there's like some stuff basically all like that. You are a chef, thank you. My favorite musical is anything I serenade you with. Aw, thank you, Erin. Are you going to make the frosting? No, we're not going to do the frosting today because I don't have cream cheese. Sorry. Give me the hat. No, it's mine, Danny. Uh, do I have a Twitter? Yes, but it's not what you think it is. <laughs> um, yeah, you can look at all of my links. I have an Instagram. I have um, YouTube. I have everything. Everything you could imagine a boy having, I have. But again, it's not what you think. Wish we could create a function with everyone here for fun. That would be fun. If anything, you like pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie is really good. Making pasta is very, very easy. I've heard that. I've heard it's super easy. So I might have to give it a go. Okay. So now we're gonna bake it for 30 minutes. I have some pre ready to go tins that we're going to use. So these are the tins I'm using. I'm, I've got a third one in case there's a lot more than I think there will be. Um, so yeah. I 
Actually, if we can just do this in two, that would be really nice. They're gonna be big, but that's okay. Okay, sorry you guys can't see this super well, but... Okay. Mmm. Oh, that stuff is so good! That's cinnamon. Actually, everything. Okay, so, you want to spread it out, make it nice and bakeable. Très magnifique. Where's my towel? Everybody needs an internet man like him. Thank you, Xavier. Bigger is always better, honestly. Sorry, I missed some comments here. Hello, Elmer, welcome. Hello, uh, Philip. Marry me and we'll bake, listen to Tay Tay all the time. That sounds good, Diana, honestly. Sounds good to me. I love pecan pie. Oh, pecan pie is really good too. Can I come cook with you? I would love that. Is that your recipe or mine are you making? Uh, this is my recipe. Um, I do have yours though, and I should make yours very soon. It's gonna be big again, that's what she said. <laughs> um, looks so good. Honestly, it does look amazing. Spread it. Do you usually bake with the crops from the farm? Yeah, we do a lot of our own cooking and our baking and stuff like that. And he can pronounce my name right. <laughs> oh, I'm glad. From what planet is this gentleman? Uh, I'm from planet Earth, believe it or not. It's this really, really cool planet with all these cool people on it. Really neat place. Okay, so in the oven. Oh. Okay, in the oven for half an hour. Probably longer than that, honestly. I'd say like 40 minutes for these. So now you guys have me all to yourselves while this bakes. Do you ever watch the live feed from Big Brother? No, I used to when I was watching Big Brother a few years ago, um, but I don't really watch reality television anymore. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> you're from Mars. <laughs> uh, amazing, honestly. Okay, wait, is this a safe angle? I feel like this is a safe angle. Um, from Mars. Have I watched The Vampire Diaries? Yeah, I have. I was obsessed. Should I block him or ghost him? I don't know, I always block. That's my go-to. If someone asks me like, oh, should you block him? I'm like, yes, block him. Block his butt. Dude, you're so mean. I want something sweet and I don't have anything at home. I'm sorry, I hate doing that to people. If you were a drag, what would your name be? Probably Country Slice. I think that'd be a cute drag name. Do you guys not think Country Slice? That would be cute. You look good in every angle. Thank you. Are you ready for Saturday? Is Saturday Heartstoppers? Um, in that case, yes. You are from the South, right? Sorry, my memory is shorter than myself these days. <laughs> no, I'm actually from Canada. Jack's tax is also good. Thank you. Um, there's no one like him. Aw, red, white, and royal blue. Oh, I didn't realize that's when that movie was. I'm excited. I read the book. So I'm definitely excited for that one. <laughs> By the way, how can you be so chill all the time? I actually just made a YouTube video about that. Um, one sec.
favor. Okay, one sec here. Um, I'm gonna lift the tripod up a little bit so I can read you guys' comments better. Oh, that's wrong. Boom! Now your head height. Okay. Um, sorry, here. I don't know why I don't like blocking people. Oh, I'm fearless. By the way, how can you be so chill all the time? Right, okay, so I made a YouTube video. It's not out yet. It will be soon. Um, about how I stay positive and how I like don't let things affect me, things like that. Um, I think anyone can do it. Anyone can become a popular, not a popular, anyone can become a fun, loving, happy person if they want to be. Um, I think the biggest thing is you've got to live in the present. You cannot worry about the past or the future. Um, I say it so many times that you guys are probably sick of me saying it, but it's true. Oh, guys, that stuff is so good. Oh. Fellow Canadian was right. Dang. Heartstoppers is tomorrow. That means you're Albert Albertan. I am. You're freaking cute. I love hearing you talk. Thank you. That's very kind of you. Season 25 of Big Brother premieres tonight. Exciting. Dude, technically where I live, it's already Thursday. I wanted to see Heartstoppers. Oh, that's so exciting. By the way, you're from Portugal. Well, welcome. Um, okay, okay. That Spanish was that bad. <laughs> Mi español es muy malo, pero yo entiendo español un poco. Lo siento. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a Virgo. Yeah, Connor's right. I'm a Virgo. It's a privilege to access to me. <laughs> I love the confidence. Zaddy Zax. Hello, Jay. We're doing carrot cake today. It's exciting. I love being a Virgo. Me too, honestly. Um, okay. Can you drive a car? Yes, I have a car. Um, most people in Alberta have cars. Oh, okay. If you guys want to screenshot the recipe, I'm about to show it. Amo tu espanol. Ah, it's bad. I'm glad you like my Spanish, but it's really bad. I'm going to show you guys the recipe. So if you want it, screenshot it. Okay. My sister's a Virgo. I love you guys, but you're so annoying sometimes. Honestly, we are. Okay, I'm going to leave it here for like 10 seconds or something. Can you drive a manual car? I can. I'm not great at it, though. I'm DJ, and it's a pleasure knowing me. I love that. You might have to like flip it or something, you know? Yeah, it's backwards, but you'll have to like mirror it or something. Because like, I don't know how to like invert it or something for you guys. You look attractive in your blue Under Armour. Thank you, Elmer. That's really kind of you to say. I know it's backwards. What language would I love to learn? Um, I would love, 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 love to learn Mandarin or Japanese, no, Afrikaans. I really want to learn Afrikaans. Okay. Or turn your screen upside down. Yeah, you guys can screenshot it if you wanted it. Cute handwriting. Thank you. It's uh, very much giving sixth grader handwriting. Anyone want to hear some tea? It's 1.45 right now and I'm bored. I always want to hear the tea. Hello, I'm here again. Hello, Nico. Uh, I want to learn Italian or Japanese and Xavier would like to learn Mandarin, German, Spanish, and Irish. Learning Gaelic would be really cool. Um, I'm part Irish. Um, so I would really enjoy that. Howdy. I wish that I could get rid of something. Oh. It's hard though, it is. We're doing carrot cake, lady. Yes, we are. It's in the oven as we speak. Part Irish as well. Somehow I knew you'd want to learn South Afrikaans. Yeah, it's just such a cool language. Hey, don't make fun of my Spanish. My English is impeccable. I'm doing really good today, Marilyn. 
Life has been good. The gym was exciting. I got a bunch of work done. I'm baking carrot cake. It's a good time. Did you call me lady, question mark? It's Blake. No, I was reading a comment. What's that? This is crushed pineapple. Cause it's really good. It's really good. Wow, I love it. So we will check the cake at 7.10. Oh, I'm just gonna like sit up here for you guys for a minute. Um, Jax, I need to lose about four pounds like yesterday. Why do you need to suddenly lose four pounds? Pineapple question mark? Yes. So there's this guy who's stuck up and he's so attached and I made it clear we're done. Ooh, that is some tea. Um, that something is my crush on you. Aw, why would you want to lose it? Um, you're gonna be sweet tonight. I'm gonna be hyper tonight because I'll be eating carrot cake. Did you have to phrase it like that, <laughs> honestly? Um, okay, this is the continuation of the tea I just read. But keeps, so the guy, uh, but keeps painting me as the villain because I'm not valuing his love and it's so annoying. Honestly, that's when I would block somebody. That's why I never have any drama is because anytime somebody like tries to like start drama, I'm just like block, block. Um, but that's just me. <laughs> because of the can, for some reason, I thought it was dog food. Oh, honestly, yeah, it kind of does look like it. It tastes way better than dog food though. Um, cool, but honestly, it's like five generations back. Okay. Hello, Snapberry. Because of the can for some reason. Oh yeah, yeah, I read that, sorry. <laughs> is it AM or PM? It is PM, it's evening. Question between your dog or bestie, which which on would you pick or would it both? Uh, if you're saying like, who would I pick if it was my bestie or my dogs? I love my besties, but it'd be the dogs. My dogs are family. Um, you took French in eighth grade, I remember. Pounds. Pounds. Oh, okay. I love striking a match. It's so aesthetically pleasing. It is, honestly. There's not any way to better describe the situation. I want some carrot cake. Me too! It's in the oven! 20 minutes. 30 minutes. Anyways, cancel Libra Man. Okay, we're canceling Libra Man, honestly. Have you ever went in an argument before? Yes, I have been in debates. I have been in arguments. I have been in heated arguments. I have been in fights. I have been in it all, unfortunately. Uh, so drama immediately <laughs> proceeds blocking. Yeah, exactly. I'm behind schedule. I'm trying not to be as heavy as I was two years ago. Um, I don't think you want to rush weight loss. Um, I think you want to do it carefully and in its own time and you want to respect your body and be careful and you don't want to rush it. Um, how to say grapefruit in French, the most random word. Yeah, that is weird, Tyler. Sorry if anyone here is a Libra, but Libra men are just no good for anything and that's facts. <laughs> I love that. Where do I live? I live in Alberta, Canada. Okay, I have French in seventh grade and I don't want to take it. Yikes. That answer was the T, honestly. That muttered <laughs> decent as a French Canadian. Oh, I'm glad. Um, thank you. Trevor, hello. Audrey, hey King, how's it going? How are you today? How is life? Um, I'm just glad I didn't get blocked, honestly. Jack Griffo, <laughs> I wish. Uh, thank you, Mr. Adonis. Lucas, thank you. I'm just glad I didn't get, oh yeah. It's way too hot. It's 32 Celsius out here for me. Oh my gosh. I think it's only like 25 and I'm melting. Um, you like my YouTube channel. I'm so glad you like it. Um, I'm so I'm so appreciative of everyone who goes to my YouTube because it's kind of my favorite thing right now. Of all the social media stuff I do, it's by far the most fun. Who is this man? You think I look like Jack Griffo? Interesting, interesting. 
Um, I remember watching, what was he in? The Thundermans? I remember watching that. This is my first time watching your live and I already feel too comfortable to start over sharing. No, that's fine. This is a safe place. This is like a very chill place. Uh, you also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you, Connor. I really hope you enjoy the content. I hope you love what I do because I love what I do. Zax would miss me. I would. Uh, best brow eyebrows. Thank you. Are you saying mine are or yours are? Because yours look pretty good in your profile picture. If that's you. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes people don't um, have their person as their profile. It's 12 Celsius here. Jokes on you living by the Atlantic. I'm jealous. Um, I'm going to go check out your YouTube today. Thank you. It's really fun. It's honestly the, the most fun I have in a day. I love talking to you guys, but the YouTube channel is really fun. Super nice and lovely. Thank you, Xavier. Guys, I have tea. I forgot to spill. Well, then you got to spill it. Who's that show? Who's that? Show me, please. Jack Griffo. Okay, I'll try and show you. Um, okay, wait. Do I have any, like, incriminating things? No, okay. <laughs> you never know. That's Jack Griffo. Um, I don't think I look so much like him, but I mean, we're both named Jack. Well, I'm Jacks, but you know, close enough. Hello there, Rion. How is Japan? How are you? Uh, the J is everyone's favorite. <laughs> uh, spill the tea. Best hair ever, honestly. You should promote your YouTube channel. Two minutes ago, I didn't know it existed. I know, I'm really bad at like promoting and stuff, but it's really good. Jax looks 200% better. 2000% better. Thank you. That's way too kind. So there was this guy who liked me, but he didn't want to do anything with me. Ah, oh, we hate those guys. Lycra or spandex? Um, this is, I think this is just Lycra. Um, it's like a compression shirt. Oh, you have a YouTube channel. I'll check that out then. Yes. I don't know how to better like promote YouTube, you know, it's kind of hard to. You're deciding to rewatch Two Broke Girls. I love it. Man, love your Giga Chad beard. Thank you. Thank you. That's very kind of you. I gotta clean it up. Try looking somewhere else for someone who is actually decent. I know the dating pool is shallow. Honestly, honestly, that's good advice though. I mean, he's cute, but I don't think you guys look alike. Thank you. Hello, Paul, we're making carrot cake. Hello, Amanda. You guys, you're both here at the same time. That's amazing. Who's watching Two Broke Girls? Oh. My goodness, uh, Connor is. <laughs> Connor is enjoying Two Broke Girls, um, which is a comedic show. Like it's a comedy. I know it sounds kind of weird, but it's a comedy. I swear. Um, Red Panda, hello, hello, hello. So he came to my place and tried to with me, but my mom and sis were at home. And then, man, this is some tea. How is your soul and emotions doing? They are homophobic. <gasps> oh no. Oh, that's, that's awkward. My soul and my emotions are doing well. I don't let my emotions run my life. So my emotions don't actually really matter a whole lot to me because they're fleeting and they don't last very long. So I don't care about them that much. But my soul, my soul is a very happy soul. So I know I don't know you, but can I get dating advice? Absolutely, I am here for you. I am your honorary gay best friend tonight. Um, so if you have dating questions or advice you need, let me know. I just love your personality. Thank you so much, Clay. That is so kind of you to say. You kind of look like the guy who used to be next door to me. Oh, interesting. Man, I need tips. I don't know if I'm, if I'm straight or not. How do I find out? Honestly, I struggled with that for like a year. I had no idea. I was going back and forth. I was like, man, maybe I'm straight, maybe I'm gay, maybe I'm asexual, and I had no idea. And that's okay. It's okay to have no idea. Um, oh no, hooking up with the worst guy on the planet twice. Yikes. And his brother also tried the same, but he took me out to a date. You rejected him. Okay, so Amanda says, so there's these two guys, dot, dot, dot. It's like, oh boy, here we go. Yes, I have Instagram as well. He literally fell asleep right after. Oh, guys, we're spilling all the tea. He was a playboy. Uh, they are fleeting, but does mean you should think less of them. Emotions are what make life a life. I disagree. Emotions can control your life. And um, I don't think they're very good for you because you get super angry or you get super mad or you get super happy. 
and they're fleeting, you know, emotions don't last very long. And so if you can find happiness from within without reacting to events negatively or positively, you're going to have a way more enjoyable life, in my opinion. Just go with it and see where destiny leads you. Always listen to your heart. Honestly, can you move your pecs? Uh, yeah, kind of. Are they doing it? Yeah. This one is. I don't know what the other one's doing. Uh, personally, I don't talk about my much because I don't give a damn about it. Awesome. No, that's fine. I'm six foot one. Um, they said that I was basically attacked by a dog. What? Oh my goodness. When am I going to start jumping on the table and start dancing? Mm, maybe not right now. <sighs> oh, you're, you're banned on Grinder. Yikes. Do you know that there's a tunnel under Ocean Boulevard? Where is Ocean Boulevard? How do you know if a guy likes you back? Honestly, eye contact. If he makes jokes around you. The best way is just to ask him, hey, I like you. You want to go out? And if he likes you, he'll say yes. Okay, so Amanda says, one is a really good guy, but has a bad past, and he's really fixing it up by a lot of things. Honestly, I believe people can change, and so I think you can always give people the benefit of the doubt. The only tea I have is berry twinning I bought today. That sounds good. Oh, twining. I disagree, but we have different opinions, but thanks for having a different opinion than me. Absolutely. No, it's totally fair. How old am I? I'm 26 years old. The other boy is my ex, but he says he misses me and he's still trying to figure out what he wants. If he's still trying to figure out what he wants, don't go near him, is my opinion. Um, you don't want to mess with people who don't know what they're doing. You know, it's just, it doesn't work out well. Because then they'll, you'll like get attached again and he'll be like, I'm sorry, I'm not looking for a relationship. And then you're just upset and like, I'll be upset for you <laughs> because that's so annoying. Opinions on Melanie, I love her. Love her music. Hello from Brazil. Hello, Fabio. I like how it's a tea spilling space now. Honestly, six foot one, wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm six foot one. Jax, I was asked out today, but dot, 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 dot. <laughs> um, I try and give the dad advice, honestly. I ain't got no more patience. Same. Me getting logged out of my old account was great because I came across Jack's account. Aw, hello, Michael, good evening. Mia, hello. Thank you, that is so, that is so kind of you. Um, thank you so much. The way I was seeing he told me he needed to focus on himself and it's not looking for love. Ugh, that's so hard. Delta or American or Southwest? I don't think I've used any of them. I'm from Canada, so I don't really use those airlines. I use British Airways. I made a goal to stay single till October. What should I do? Well, why, why, why do you have a goal to be single? Like why, why do that to yourself? You like Lana Del Rey. You're giving Lana Del Rey vinyl. Oh, I love Lana Del Rey. Is the daddy Jack's advice, honestly. You should listen to new gens, I think. Okay, I will. Hello, Sam. Maddox, I love that name. Maddox Airlines, what a great name. My mom is still trying to figure out what she thinks about the first one, but she doesn't know about the past. Honestly, a person's past, it really is none of anyone else's business. Like I know some people are like, well, you can judge them by it. It's like, no, that's, that's not really fair. A person's past is private and it belongs to them. And so you don't have to share it with anybody. I love Ariana Grande. What's my skincare routine? Um, I do like very standard. Very standard skincare routine. The only thing that I do differently than most people is that I go to a... The issue with guys is that once we start talking, even though most of the time I text people... New jeans, not new gens. Okay. Um, to work on myself and find out who I am, work on my goals, and to rebuild up myself. Fair enough. Um, honestly, but if you find the right relationship, why wouldn't you see where it goes? You know, you can take it really slow. Thanks for the advice. I get back with me. Like trust those instincts because we have a really refined set of like intuitive instincts where we can kind of understand if someone's telling the truth or not. You want to be careful when you're just talking to somebody over text because when you're in person, you get all the body language and their eye contact and there's lots of stuff that'll help you see the truth. 
Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, just trust your instincts, girl. You got this. Um, honestly, when somebody's like, I'm not ready for love, and then they go out with another girl the next week, it's like, seriously, what the heck? Um, honestly, fair. What would they, why would they do that? I don't get it. Honestly, sometimes it's just like really crappy people who they're like, oh, I don't want to be in a relationship with you, but like, I'll date this one. You know, it's a horrible mentality and it's really awful, but some, some guys are just like that. Oh, that was a religious experience. I needed the water. Um, that's so true. <laughs> This shirt like makes it kind of hard to like see it. You see that? Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> I've only recently just started working on my pecs, so I don't have good control over them anymore. Um, and the best part about it is that no one knows the other. That's nice. It's always annoying when people know each other. I always hate that when like I'm talking to somebody and they know my ex or something. Is the screen black for anyone else with the blue and red dots too? Uh-oh, that's weird. Your face is adorable. Thank you, Benedict. That's way too kind. Right, you don't want a relationship with me. I know, that's what I hate. You keep pausing. Oh shoot, it says my connection's good. Sorry, you guys. I live on a farm, so sometimes my Wi-Fi is awful. No, I meant like we were strangers, but spilling tea. Yes, no, it's nice that none of us know each other so we can like spill all the dirty secrets. Can you imagine if I was like, I don't talk to many guys or like any guys really. Can you imagine if they were like on the live, they'd be able to like figure out everything that I'm thinking about them and it would just be really bad. They'd be like, haha, I secretly watch you. And I'm like, oh gosh, that would be really dangerous. I should actually be very careful. That makes me anxious. I don't like that. Should we check on the cake? Also, I stopped calling anyone my ex unless we have three kids and I've been married. You're definitely not my ex. I love that. I actually love that. That's so good. Love you, Jack's back home now. I'm glad that you got home. Hope you had a good day today, Aaron. Uh, oh, gee, that'd be so fun. <laughs> I'm the neighbor down the street. I love it. Are you baking? Yes, Cameron. We are baking carrot cake. It is getting hot in here because of it. You're the most handsome farmer. Thank you so much, Michael. That's so kind of you to say. Can one create a, someone create a group chat please for such content should be left like that. Honestly, uh, my Patreon's kind of like a giant group chat. Good morning, my dear. Hello, Ryan. Ryan, or Ray Nadar. I assume it's Ray Nadar, not Ryan Hatter. Hmm. Or it's just cause you're just hot. Aw, feel free to check my cake anytime. Yes, I should. Jack, I struggle with relationships. Me too. What do you struggle with exactly? Because maybe we can help each other. Like I ain't going to be your boyfriend and your mom at the same time. I can barely do one. Honestly, preach. That's like so good. Hello from Colombia. Hello. Welcome. Not me flirting. <laughs> no, it's fine. Okay, guys. Oh, no, I want the light on. That's what the cakes look like right now. They're going to need another 20 minutes. Or 15. So because you live on a farm, can you see the Northern Lights or at least the universe? Definitely the Northern Lights on really good, clear days. You, Well, I don't know. Can't really see the universe or like the Milky Way or whatever it is. Um, but it's still beautiful out here. Say it to his face. Honestly, yeah, sometimes you just need some face-to-face -face communication. Um, that's what it takes, you know? That's, that's what sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, oh yeah, Saturn is really close right now. I've gotta look for it tonight. Um, it was really cloudy yesterday, so hopefully I can see it tonight. Um, yeah, for anyone that doesn't know, Saturn is like really close to the earth right now. And so you can see it with the bare eye. And if you have a telescope, you can see like really clearly. I see, I have no idea how to flirt. Honestly, I don't think most people know how to flirt. It's okay. 
You like the compression shirt? You know what I really like? I like how it makes my waist look this big. That's what I like about it. That's my favorite part of this compression shirt. And my back, like my back just like, I think it looks, I like it. I don't know, it's a good shirt. I bought three compression shirts today. Um, no, for real, I've seen you guys can actually see the Northern Lights, right? We can, yeah, it happens quite a bit, especially in the winter. Also, what's your opinion about Leos since it's a Leo season? Um, my mom is a Leo. Um, I think they're cool. They're usually quite loud people, very proud, obviously. Um, so yeah. Um, 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 um. One sec here. Getting all sweaty. Um, that's what happens when you're cooking and baking um, on a hot day. Sorry, I'm just reading. <laughs> What's your, oh no, sorry. Uh, need to get my telescope. Yes, bro is adorable. Thank you, Teddy. Teddy doesn't even, what a good username. Jax, you are a sunset cause you're breathing, breathtaking. Aw, Jay, that's so kind. As I butchered reading it. Um, this is what I miss about Michigan and seeing the Northern Lights. Aw, pet control comes with patience. Honestly, it does. I am six foot one. Are they doing them now? Kind of, yeah. Uh, I'm a Cancer and I actually love it. My, one of my best friends is a Cancer. She's like the mom of the friend group. What zodiac sign do you feel you connect with most? Probably Capricorn, honestly. Um, a lot of people in my life are Capricorns. Or Libras. I've dated a bunch of Libras. My dad's a Libra, there's a bunch of them. I hear that being all sweaty it was busy working, crazy, busy day all, all day. I'm sorry to hear that. Never mind, it fixed it, but it just kept pausing. Oh, that's so weird. Flex. I want to look like a Dorito, like a really like triangle. You dated your dad? No, <laughs> a few of my exes were Libras and so was my dad, a Libra. Having issues with replying on others to make me happy. You should never rely on someone to make you happy. What about Taurus? I have really good reactions and interactions with Taurus. Are Scorpios red flags? I don't know. I haven't met a lot of Scorpios, honestly. We love Libra, honestly. I'm an Aquarius. I feel like we are just weird. No. Honestly, I like Geminis. I feel like the stereotype about Geminis is actually what Libras are. Interesting. I don't actually believe in any of the horoscopy stuff, but I find it really fun. Hey Jax, how are you? I'm doing good, Bull Slice. How is life? Um, life is good. We got carrot cake in the oven. We're gonna have a look at it in five minutes and then probably take it out in 10 minutes. Hey dad. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> You're one Dorito that you can eat without all the calories. It's true. What about Capricorn? I love Capricorns. I have really good connections. Capricorns are probably the people that I hang out with the most. Def wanna write a song about you, Jax. Aw, thank you, Aaron. Aaron has such a good voice. For anyone who's like interested, you should like go follow him. He's also in movies. Like he's he's like an, a genuine actor and singer. Uh, good, because I'm a Scorpio. Oh, it'd be so cool. You were like the first Scorpio I know. You're a Taurus. That's good. Guys, I think all the signs are good. Who's Aaron? He's in the chat. I know it comes from tons of complex trauma issues from my childhood. Scorpios like to listen to your traumas so they can traumatize you in a new way. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, that's Aaron. Uh, I had the unfortunate pleasure of my ex texting me. Oh, I'm so sorry. Did you block them? I'm a big advocate of blocking. We were discussing this a few minutes ago, but like, I think blocking is like the best thing you can do. I think there is nothing wrong with blocking somebody who is toxic. You know, you feel me? Because genuinely, I love the block button. It's my favorite button. Guys, the block button is so powerful. It's just like, you could just delete someone from your life. Like you, you like a hundred years ago, you couldn't do that. Today, you have the power to just block. I'm done talking to you. Um, used to misspelling. Thanks, Starbucks, honestly. Uh, do you also know your moon and rising? I do not. Actually, we Googled this once. I can't remember what it was. 
My parents lean on me to fix their problems if it, if it was like my responsibility. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, he literally said I was never good anyways and that it was needy and weird. See, and then you just block them. Block! It's the best button. You're so cute. Thank you, Frankie. I like the name Frankie. Immediately you start bothering. Girl, bye! Honestly, someone blocked me because I called them a twink. Ouch. Um, some people don't like being called that. Some people like find it kind of stereotypical, you know? I don't really care what people call me, um, but some people are sensitive and they don't want to be, you know? But I think blocking someone over that's a little bit extreme, you know? And when I couldn't fix their problems, they would belittle me. I'm sorry to hear that. I block when boys call me daddy. That's fair, honestly. Daddy is one of those like, I don't know. Yeah, not my thing. I have, I'm gonna be, beat his scrawny backside when I see him, honestly. This guy I've been texting for months told me that he thought I changed, but I will never. <laughs> I love it. Stay toxic. <laughs> Some people are just joking, but maybe they don't get it. Honestly, can you say you're, oh, can I just say you're my favorite person? Wow, thank you, Amir. I really appreciate that. I hope you're having a beautiful day. That is such a, that's so heartwarming. Um, just because I left him on red after a rude voice message he sent me. I think that's fair. Who's your daddy? Uh, my dad is a very nice man and there is nothing weird. Like, let's, let's just change the subject because that's such a strange question to ask in 2023. You look like a young Keith Whitley. Okay, I gotta Google it. I, guys, I honestly think that you guys just think I look like every single basic white boy, which is fine, but um, I think it's really funny. Damn. Okay, you're not wrong. You're not like right, but like you're not wrong. His hair is way curlier than mine though. I do not have a boyfriend, I am single. Um, Sorry, I missed a whole bunch of comments. Anyways, I gotta make a plan, his life even miserable. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hello, Bull Slice. Thank you. That's very kind of you to say. OMG, actually, my last guy wasn't into the daddy thing either. Yeah, it's it's like not for everybody. What's my favorite goat breed? I like the, what is it? Dwarf Namib Nam Namibian? Namibian dwarf. That's my favorite goat breed. You didn't think I had a favorite goat breed, but I will show you. Nubian. This is my favorite goat breed, called the Nubian. You see him? You see him? Isn't he pretty? My cousin has some. I love them so much. Their eyes are so cool. I love goat eyes. Uh, dating advice, please. How do you meet people other than dating apps? Ideally, won't hate crime me. Go to things that you have an interest in and meet people naturally. I always say, if you're looking for friends as an adult, if you're trying to make friends or meet somebody that has shared interest, are you into yoga? Go to some yoga classes. Do you like going to the gym? Go to the gym at different times throughout your week and just talk to people or just like get to know people. Are you into canoeing? Join a canoe club. If you like rowing or pickleball or hiking or mountain biking or um, comic books, like go to the places where those people will be. If you like video games, go to like a video game cafe or uh, hang out at a game store or something, you know? I think it's really, it's never been easier to meet people. I have this habit of taking screenshots of guys being vulnerable so I can give them a reality check. <laughs> My birthday is September 3rd. Yes, he's a country singer. Um, hey, yes, sir. How are you doing? Uh, I fall in love with you. Oh, thank you. OMG, you're cute. Thank you, Karen. You guys are so kind. Can we see? Yes, we need to look at the cake. He was begging me not to leave him, and now he's acting like he's the one who needs him. I'm the one who needs him. Oh, my gosh. Hey, Matt. How's it going? Yes, we're going to check on the cake. The cake is waiting. I love how you guys are. No, it's called a Nubian dwarf. Um, those are my favorite uh, goats. Dang, my hubby looks so cute as always. Thank you, Toby. Looks like Jack. Do I still live in Calgary? I've never lived in Calgary. I was born there, but I live on a farm. 
Um, I don't have a favorite goat breed. I just think they're all cute. Honestly, how's the cake? Yes, we're going to. Love you, Paul. Have a great night. Uh, the cake, check on it. I love how you guys are like, check on the cake. It's okay, guys, don't worry. It needs some time. It was pretty, it was pretty um, undercooked. Please Google baby goats. They're just beautiful. They are, honestly, I could watch them all day. Check on the cake. Kayaking. Mm. Called me a narcissist. Honestly, who's my favorite gay celebrity? Colton Haynes, currently. Uh, what's my type? Tall, dark, and handsome usually, but anybody with a sense of humor. I don't really discriminate based on body type or anything like that. Did you know a cake is an icing sandwich? Technically, yes. Do you put out on the first date? No, never. Never. That's not my style. But I haven't been on a first date in like a while. Where am I from? I'm from Canada, Alberta, Canada, the prairies. Benji, hi, welcome. True, no discrimination. Yeah, we don't discriminate. How often do I go live? As often as possible. Recently, it's been every day this week, but typically, it's not that often. Okay, we need to do the toothpick test. And by toothpick, I mean this. Uh, top or bottom? No. That is not ready. Okay, the bottom one is getting close, but the top one isn't even close. So we got some time. Love that for us viewers. Oh, me bending over. <laughs> what you doing, King? We're baking carrot cake. Um, I really love Chris Olson. He's so cute. Chris is, yeah, I like his content too. Do I still live in Canada? I do. This looks so weird. I look, I look so strange right now. Do I not? My oven mitts, the compression shirt, the cowboy hat, like. Um, yeah, it's fine. It's probably gonna need another 10 minutes, honestly. You look adorable, thank you. <laughs> you look cool. Okay, I'm glad. I'm glad I look okay. I feel like I look ridiculous. Please keep comments respectful. Thank you, yes, thank you, Aaron. Yes, keep them respectful, guys. I'm a respectful guy. I will respect you if you respect me. That's how we're gonna do this. Um, so yeah. But anyway, anyway. Interesting questions. Um, yeah. It smells so good. I'm so excited. These are gonna be so nice. How was my day, Poppy? My day has been really good. I went to the gym. I got a whole bunch of different little things done. I filmed some YouTube stuff. I filmed some TikTok stuff. I've sent off some like good emails for people. Had to water some plants, you know? Just typical great stuff. How was your day, Benji, is what I want. Because many use it for protection whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Slay. You again. Hello, Hansel. For anyone that doesn't know, Hansel joins the live and has joined the live for the last, I don't know, five months and just types you again and then disappears. And I think it's really funny. What are you cooking slash baking? We're doing carrot cake today. The last live I was on muted me because I said their singing was fire on mute. Ooh. Yeah, sometimes people are really sensitive. If I could come to your place, would you allow me to come there for a slice? Maybe, maybe. Uh, I'm wearing a pure silver pentagram necklace. Had it on for years. That's really cool. Love watering the garden. Honestly, productive day, congrats. Mine was great too, thank you for asking. I did some sewing. That's so cool, Benji. Um, what did you sew? I should join Sadie Zacks and leave, and then leave. <laughs> Aw, love me and leave me. What was the recipe? Um, do you guys want me to quickly read out the recipe for you, just so you guys have it? Um, I like showed the recipe, and then this whole video is also gonna get put on YouTube in a few days. But I will read the recipe for you in a second here. Hello, fellow fruit. Hello, I am fruity. I'm doing some pieces for a fashion show in my class. Pretty fun. That does sound cool. Oh, 
Okay. I'm about to read the carrot cake recipe. Um, so here we go. Part of the Illuminati. Just joined, sorry, that's why I asked. No worries at all. Has anyone ever acknowledged how great your vocabulary is? Um, I think you were probably the first. Thank you, I appreciate that. My dad went to a British boarding school, so he raised my brother and I on lots of like classic English literature and uses very, very big words like pontificate. Like I knew what pontificate meant when I was like four years old, because my dad says it all the time. So YouTube will see our comments. No, actually YouTube doesn't see any of the chat, um, only what I read out. The, the, the chat never makes it into the YouTube video. It's just purely what's on the video screen, which is kind of interesting. Listen, Bestie, not let, oh, you look great in tight shirts. Thank you, Connor, <laughs> that's so kind. You should try baking some zucchini cake. Oh, that does sound good. Have you heard of Warren Jeffs, the cult leader? I have, yes. I already have the SS Thanks. Amazing. Um, we can sing Taylor Swift and eat the cake together. Honestly, it sounds amazing. Has, okay. Okay, so this is the recipe, guys, for my carrot cake. You preheat the oven to 300 degrees. Then you, you take two cups of crushed pecans. Half of, half of that is supposed to be for garnish on top, but I don't usually do that. One and a half cups of brown sugar. Half, half a cup of granulated sugar, one cup of butter or coconut oil, four large eggs, a cup of applesauce or half a cup of pineapple juice. I like to use crushed pineapples. Um, one teaspoon of vanilla, two and a half cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, and cloves, two cups of grated carrots. If you're going to use cream cheese frosting, we are not doing that today, but if you are, 16 ounces of cream cheese, half a cup of butter softened, and then four cups of powdered sugar with one and a half cups of vanilla, a little bit of salt. So you, what you do with this recipe usually is you bake the pecans for 30 minutes at 300 degrees. No, for, sorry, you bake the pecans at 300 degrees for seven or eight minutes. Then turn the oven to 350, mix the wet ingredients all together, mix the dry ingredients all together, then mix them all together, fold in the carrots at the very end with the pecans, and then you bake for 30 minutes or until it passes the toothpick test. And with the cream cheese, you just mix it all up in a mixer. Um, here, actually, I'll show you it again. Again, if you want to screenshot it or something, like you, you'll have to invert it because obviously it looks kind of funny like this, but hope you guys can see all of that. You'll have to like invert it in a mirror or something. Uh, I don't have cream cheese today. That's why I'm not making cream cheese icing. It's because I forgot to buy some. Room temperature melted butter. You can, I always, I always get away with putting the butter in the microwave um, because who has time to let it warm up, you know? But that's just me. Um, you like the way I say butter, <laughs> thank you. Um, yeah, it's from my British upbringing. Shout out to Jack's dad, dad's hugs to the fam. Honestly, thank you. Um, you were in that call when you were five. My mom was sent to Canada to marry my dad. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. Wow, that's like a big part of history too. I'm sorry that you were in a cult. <gasps> um, yeah. I need to duet another Taylor video with you, honestly. I should do another Taylor. Butter, butter. Please, sir, can you pass the butter? I thought it was similar to why Graham's recipe or my gram's recipe, but hearing you say it out louder, it's much better. Butter. <laughs> uh, my uncle has a hundred kids. That's unbelievable. What's my favorite Taylor Swift album? 1989. I'm really hoping, I think it's gonna be the next one. I think she's gonna release 1989 next. I firmly believe that. Um, so yeah, that is, that is my, Belief. Anyway, um, look up Winston Blackmore. That's my uncle. That's crazy. Is there birth control for guys? <laughs> there is. Um, 
Yeah, anyway. Um, should we check on the cake? Should we check on the carrot cake? Guys. Oh, she's looking so pretty. We're gonna pull one out and have a look. Actually, the bottom one. If any of them are gonna be ready, it's gonna be this one. Should we have a look? You're excited for the vault tracks on the 89. Me too! The vault tracks, I'm living for that. Yeah, that's definitely ready. Um, I'll just turn the oven off. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, carrot cake does not need this, but I think it makes it look really pretty. So. We're gonna just do a little bit of powdered sugar to make it look really pretty and to spill all over me. Speak Now was my album because I'm a hopeless romantic. Honestly. Um, I know I should use a sift. It looks really delicious. Do we need to give you a moment alone with the carrot cake? You might have to give me a moment alone with the carrot cake. I've been getting quite a lot of guy friends getting vasectomies lately. That's actually quite nice. Honestly, yes, we don't need any more children. I know the world's like underpopulated or like we're running out of people, but like, I don't care. Um, if you want to have kids, have kids. But if you don't want to have kids, you shouldn't be shamed into having kids. Why pull just one out when you have two? The other one wasn't as m well cooked. The other one can come out though. Oh. Boom, guys, carrot cake. This is how we do it. Man, oh. I should just check them properly with a butter knife. Yeah, see, that's not quite ready. I don't know. I don't know what to do, guys. I'm supposed to let them cool. I guess we'll do that. There we go, guys. Homemade carrot cake from scratch. Everything is looking, it <laughs> looks so yummy. I'm glad you like it, Miles. You like everything? You think everything looks really good? Everything? <laughs> um, somebody put me in a prison. <laughs> What's long and hard and full of semen? A submarine. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. <laughs> I was like getting my cake warm just out of the oven, honestly. Everything. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Uh, is that spice cake? It's carrot cake. Everything looks delicious. <laughs> uh, flex. Oh, guys, that looks so... Man, that looks crazy. Jeez. Okay, I'll stop doing this. Waiting for Jax to read the comments during the replay to the live. Oh, gosh. What have I missed? I'm going back up. I'm going back up, guys. Um, why pull just... Oh, yes, yes, yes. Do you live alone or do you live with family on the farm? Sorry if that's personal. Um, I'm at my parents' house right now, but I live with my brother usually. We have our own farmhouse. Um, those look interesting. I don't know about edible. Wait until I cut into them. They look amazing, don't worry. They smell amazing too. I want some cake. Oh, guys, I wish I could give you some. It'll be ready because of their on heat, honestly. A boy is getting bigger. Honestly, I spy three cakes. <laughs> really? Where? I only see two. 
I want some of that. The cake, of course. Yes, of course. Of course. Okay. It's looking really good. Okay, I'm gonna cut open, cut it open. You guys can see what it looks like. And then I'm gonna have to go, unfortunately. So, one sec here. Oh, guys, it smells so bloody good. I'll bring fried chicken. Oh my God, yes, deal. On my way, first flight, love it. Thank you for the hard hands. Get to know. Today, get to know. You see three, I'm glad. Ils sont à que toi, get to. Oui. Um, you're such a cutie. Thank you. That's really kind of you to say. Thoughts on Tiananmen Square? Um, weird question, but um, I think those people were incredibly brave. The students who were there. Now I'm gonna get blocked. This is what it looks like, guys. It looks so good. Oh my god. Mm. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Guys, it's so good. It's everything I want in a carrot cake. I don't want to leave either. I don't have any tattoos currently. <sighs> oh, that's such a sad joke, ASD. But it is funny. What are we talking about? We're talking about how great carrot cake is. That's the only thing that we were talking about, right guys? Mm. Is the shirt driving people crazy? Guys, the cake is so good. I can't get over it. I want to make a pumpkin pie this year. What do I like to do? I like to bake. This is some carrot cake we just made. Um, I like archery. I like skiing. I like hiking. I like working out at the gym. I like canoeing and kayaking. I like reading and writing. I like YouTube. I like watching movies. I like hanging out with my friends. I like going out dancing. I love life, honestly. Um, I know we need to get some cream cheese. Maybe tomorrow. Um, thank you, Diesel Daddy, for the gifts. I really appreciate that. Thank you, Andy. Thank you for being here on the live. Thank you for sharing time with me and hanging out, spilling some tea, talking about some drama. It's currently 7.30. The sad joke was, what do you call an orphan taking a photo of, taking a selfie? And then the punchline is a family photo. Very sad. My cake is flat. Mm. Well, it's carrot cake, it's not meant to rise. You know, it's not like your typical uh, cake where it's supposed to rise. The shirt is the first thing you noticed. <laughs> basketball? I'm not great at basketball, but I like it. Mm -hmm. Boyne Mountains for skiing. I've never heard of that place. I do love being gay. What do you mean? You say I don't like being gay? I love it. Oh, if you make the steak, I'm so there. Steak is like my favorite food. Once the live's over, I'll go and ruin his day. It's nighttime, but I like to do things beforehand. I love it. Hello from Quebec City. Hello, Alex. My parents are in Quebec City right now. I would describe the flavor as Hmm. Good question. It's it's not super sweet. 
It's very, it, it has very nice tones in it. It's got some nice spice in it. Spices. Can't really taste the carrots. Kind of you can. But it's just like a really nice classic carrot cake. The pecans are really nice and crunchy. So it looks really good. It, it tastes really good. Here, I'll show you it again. It's so good, guys. Guys, it's so good. Loving it. Loving it. Um, hey, from Orlando. Hello, welcome. Hello, Daniel. Jack's cake is perfectly fine, right, guys? Exactly. My favorite sport is football. I'm not a big fan of basketball. I love watching American football. Um, I think it's amazing. Your cake, Jack. Aw, thank you, Aaron. Uh, what do you call a gay drive-by? A fruit roll-up. <laughs> you don't count, it's in. Huh, I don't know what you mean, Abraham. Oh, you're Quebecois. Well, welcome. Bienvenue. What's the deepest you've ever scuba dived? Um, I don't know, like 30 feet, maybe, at the most. I haven't gone very deep. Would you like to try your cake? I did. It's delicious. Oh, you would like to try it. I wish you could try it as well, Liam. Based on all the ingredients, I'd say it's perfect balance of sweet and nutty. It is. You found time to start Wentworth. No, I wish. Ah, oh, I don't have, I, I wish I had time to start these TV shows. When I said the cake was flat, I meant the other type. This one? Yeah, it is. I gotta do some more squats or something. Uh, kindly flex before you go. Okay. There you go. Now I have lost all self-respect for myself. Um, Wisconsin is boring, nothing in it. Aw, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for coming and enjoying making the cake, carrot cake. It smells beautiful. I wish you could all try it immediately right now forever because it turned out really well. Thank you guys so much for being here for Spending, sorry, a little bit of carrot cake. For spending time with me, for hanging out. Um, you wanna eat the cake, honestly. Um, <laughs> thank you guys, thank you Diana and Aaron. Um, I'm so sorry, don't worry Cat of Shadows, this whole live is going to be on YouTube in about four or five days. So, <clears throat> I would have come but, what? Interesting. Um, thank you, John and Diana and Connor and Aaron and Mike and Mix and Jay and everybody who has come to hang out with me, Miles. Thank you guys so much for being here. Um, I love you guys. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Um, I don't know if I'll be live tomorrow. I will really try. I've got a busy day, um, but I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for hanging out, making carrot cake with me. Like I said, this video will be put on YouTube so you can watch the whole thing again if you're interested. Um, have a very fruity night. Thank you so much, Jeff. I love you guys so much. Have a beautiful, beautiful night and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.